Hello and welcome to Devlog 3, episode 3 of this series in which I was trying to make a game uh, and release it within 12 months on Steam. And as you could probably tell from the title of the video, I'm not quite sure what it's going to be called, but it'll be something doom and gloomy, most likely. Uh, I've given up. Um, not in total on like game development, although I, I did come quite close. Uh, but I've given up on this game specifically. And then also a following game that I'd started to make instead. So that's two failures, I guess, for what I want of a better word. I don't uh, see them directly as failures because I, you know, I did learn a lot from them. But uh, it is always disappointing to get sort of far into a project and kind of stop. So for those of you who don't know, I originally started off making this little prototype, which you can see here. Um, it was called Beneath the Bows. It was a little game in which you would, uh, some little spirits had come to this little town. They'd arrive by train and they'd wander around and they'd do various activities. Uh, they'd gain happiness, which you can see here. And you could use that happiness to upgrade sort of uh, building. So you can see we've got our yoga mat here. We could upgrade the building and there'd be more room for more spirits to take part in that activity. And we had like the fishing one, for example, which would add another uh, fishing spot. Um, full saving and loading. But as if you saw episode two of this, which was kind of like episode 2.5, because I had to re-record it, um, there were some issues around the game, a bit of miscommunication between me and my employer. And it kind of just like my enthusiasm for this game just, it took a big hit and then I found it really like, so in December I didn't really work on it. And then I just really struggled to get back into it. And then the last thing I actually did is to try to get back into it is I made this um, little glamping pod here. And I was quite happy with this little pod. I was quite happy with how that turned out. But it took so long for such a simple asset. And you can see I'd been working on this for two months and I'd got a swimming pool, a hot tub, a yoga mat, an archery station, the train and stuff. And obviously all the code that went into it. But from an art point of view, I didn't get that far. And it was so time consuming. I could only maybe manage like an asset, one asset every like two, three days, just because of like the time I have to spend on this. Um, and yeah, it was just my enthusiasm was just shot for it. And, and I had been thinking anyway that this was way over scoped because for each of these activities, obviously I need animations for the little characters and I can't really animate. I'm not a great artist or slash animator. So my enthusiasm really started to, it was on the brink anyway. And then what happened, which I covered in my last video, kind of just, you know, I, I decided to write this project off, but I didn't want to like completely give up and not make and release anything. And I still don't like I am, I'll, I'll explain a bit more in a second, but the second project I worked on was called Veggie Patch, which let's bring that up here. So here we have a, another little game. And this one, it doesn't really have a core loop in play, but it's this tile based game where you, you know, you've got a set amount of uh, gold that you start with, and then there's a daily upkeep. And as you expand, um, you can buy kind of vegetables and they will grow. And it was supposed to be, again, I didn't really, I started this before I even had a core loop in mind. Um, but it's supposed to be just, you know, managing the water versus having stuff grow. Um, you've got the wells and you can water tiles. You can see you've got only a limited amount of uh, space in your watering can. And we can go to the well and fill up our thing fill up our watering can, the well will eventually refill over time and we can keep expanding. Um, and I'd implemented quite a few different tiles, but where I was getting with this is I was getting a bit sick of the art aspect yet again. Like I'm not, I find it really hard to stay motivated on something where it's all like gray and white boxes. I like it to look nice, especially when developing for YouTube, um, you know, it looks more impressive if I'm showing a video with art assets, but then like, I, I'm not an artist, especially 2D. 
stuff like this. You know, like I'm I'm relatively happy with it. Like I really like the look of these carrots, um, the leeks when they grow. I was quite happy with. But then these two assets don't match really stylistically. And then the last one I did was the potato plant, which again, it just doesn't like, you know, maybe individually they're fine for like a little game like this, but I was really struggling keeping the style consistent between them. And there wasn't much gameplay here um, other than, you know, this. And if I keep going out, here you can see that we've got these like upgrade tiles you've got to buy your way over to them so now if i buy this tile here so radishes i can now buy this upgrade and it gives me three different upgrades um and actually something seems a little bit broken here because it was supposed to be three different upgrades um oh just the names have defaulted but you can see here, so we've got increase uh, harvest value by 10%, upkeep by 10%, or reduce the tile cost by 10%. And we could choose that upgrade. Uh, and I don't actually have the money for that upgrade yet. So we need to harvest some carrots and some of our vegetables to get some more money back. And we can buy this upgrade. And there we go. That's active now. But, you know, again... It was getting to make it interest to make this core loop interesting with again more feature creep plus all the artwork stuff that I just couldn't find, you know, the motivation to keep it up. Um, and part of the problem with developing publicly is that, like in YouTube videos, is when you start um, showing stuff, if it doesn't work out as is the case with a lot of these games that I've decided, like, this is the game that I'm going to push and like, make and release. Uh, it gets harder every time, like, on a mental level, to be like, oh, look, I'm working on this. Oh, wait, no, no, I'm not. I'm just forget about that. And there are a few videos I've unlisted on the channel because I've just gone way too early with it, and I've not been sure that that's the project I want to work on. So, again, my original goal was to make and release a game within 12 months. And I still am planning to do that. And I'm working on a third version of a game. But I'm not going to show you guys because I don't want to make this video again for devlog like four or five. Just like, oh, I gave up again. So in terms of game stuff in this series, I'm going to stop it until I actually have something to show. Um, that I'm confident will actually come out because it's pointless. It's a waste of my time and it's a waste of your time. There is some benefit to this that I'm, is a little positive. Both of these projects, so this one and Beneath the Bows, the Spirit one, I'm putting them on Patreon um, at the month, at the week monthly build tier slash tutorial tier. I'm going to put the source files on Patreon under them, and you can just have the projects um, completely open. You know, all the artwork I've done is mine for both of them. So there's no problems there. Um, use them or don't use them however you want. Just look at the code, look at how I did the upgrade system or the population system, energy system, like uh, save loading. Um, so there is a save load system in Spirit Spa beneath the bows. Um, but yeah, it's not quite the video I wanted to make this time around, but I'm feeling, I am feeling positive about the next project I want to make. It's even smaller in scope than this one. Um, the kind of gameplay is I'm hoping to have it kind of, you know, a daily, something that you play daily for about 15, 20, maybe 30 minutes. Um, and that, that's a specific design choice because I want something that can be repeated daily it doesn't take that long and then that's the that's keeping the scope even smaller um than this so you know fingers crossed that might help but if you want to get the project files for either of these two games which i've just shown in this video feel free to join the patreon which is linked in the description below um again it'll be on the monthly build slash uh tutorial tier and yeah uh in terms of like the actual channel content, I'm 
I'm thinking of starting to do a few more tutorial series. Again, going back to doing tutorials. Um, I don't think I can, I don't think as a person I can develop in public by doing these sort of like devlogs necessarily. It's too much pressure on me mentally and it's all in my head and I know that. Um, but tutorials, you know, that's been the kind of bread and butter of this channel. People seem to like it. Um, that comes with its own complications, but you know, I want to keep the channel alive. So yeah, if you do want to see any sort of follow-up tutorials from stuff I've done previously, or maybe a tutorial building a certain element that you've seen in either of these games, uh, let me know, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, I thought I'd just let everyone know where I was at and I'll catch you guys in the next one, whenever that may be. Cheers. Bye.